Hello and welcome to 60 Seconds with Brett and today's question is going to be a very tough one to answer in 60 seconds but I will do my best so make sure you can keep up because I will be speaking fast. So today's question is how long should my rest periods be between sets? Okay so how long should my rest periods be between sets if I am wanting to promote fat loss or faster fat loss? Okay so here we go. Alright, so the first things we need to look at is that your rest periods will determine your end result. So for instance, if you're uh, looking for fat loss, you're going to have a different rest period than if you are looking for maximum strength gains. And I'll tell you why, because it comes down to hormones. Now, the shorter the rest period, the more growth hormone is released throughout your body. And growth hormone is actually a really good hormone to strip body fat. Now for instance, if you're looking to build strength, maximum strength, you would have a longer rest period which promotes testosterone. However, the key point here is to not just have a rest period for the sake of having a rest period. You need to make sure that when you're doing your sets, you're actually working out um, and putting your body under a certain amount of intensity, a certain amount of stimulus. So if you feel as though you're going to rest for five minutes, but you could start a couple of minutes earlier, then what I suggest is you need to reevaluate your um, intensity that you're working at. Um, so there it is. So for shorter fat loss, or for faster fat loss, sorry, shorter rest periods. Anything between 30 to 60 seconds is optimum. There we go. Time's up. Uh, so leave a comment below if you feel as though I've answered the question, and stay tuned for more great health fitness tips.